For this absolute value and equality problem, the first thing we're going to want to do is solve for the absolute value. So divide by negative 1 is the first step, and don't forget to flip the inequality symbol. Now we're going to break it up into two separate inequalities. Since its absolute value greater than 2 thirds, the greater than means that it's going to be an OR statement. Now arbitrarily solving for the left hand inequality, we're going to go ahead and subtract 4 and get Q greater than or equal to negative 10 thirds. Now subtract 4 again, get Q less than or equal to negative 14 thirds. And as you can see, we're going to get the two solution sets and the OR is going to make it a union of those two solution sets. And you can see that total solution set on the graph.